I'm Kara, and welcome to Soul Inspiring Business. I believe that all of us possess unique gifts and talents that allow us to serve the world and our own growth in the highest possible way. Our lives are an expression of our thoughts, beliefs, and actions. And here, we will explore businesses, thought leaders, and topics designed to inspire, helping propel your own growth so you can live your best and most purposeful life. Welcome to Soul Inspiring Business. Welcome back to the Soul Inspiring Business Podcast. I'm your host, Kara. And if you've been following along for the last few weeks, you know that this is the last episode in our five-part series. Not the last episode of the podcast, but last episode in this series. And what we've been really talking about is this idea that leadership begins with you. Leadership begins with the way that you show up for not only your team and your business, um, but and your family and your friends and all of the, and your clients, but also how you show up for you. How are you talking to yourself? How are you learning how to align into the highest possible expression of you at this time? And a lot of it, there's a mantra that I've shared with you on the podcast. I think it was maybe even the last episode, but it's something that I heard many decades ago, and it just has stuck with me. And it's really part of the reason for this series in particular. And that's that it's by Marianne Williamson. And she said, I am programmed no more, no less than to be the highest actualization of myself on this planet to creatively manifest for my highest good and the highest good of others. And I love that because really I I think that what we're trying to do is how do we show up as the highest version of ourselves? How do we align with the gifts that we were given naturally, that we were born with, so that we can share those with the world, so that we can make a difference and make an impact in the people we serve and in the greater community and in the world? And so that's this whole idea. And and we've talked about a lot of different things in this series. We've talked about how do you... um, ground? How do you stay grounded in the moment that that whole practice of of being grounded helps? I think you make um, better decisions, more clear decisions about what it is that you're creating. Uh, And also this idea of intuition as a learned skill. So how are we accessing the knowledge that we already have within because we were all given the ability to access inner wisdom, inner guidance, and know what's true for us. Because what may be true for others may not be true for you. And this whole idea that if we're going to create, if we've got this one life to live, and we're going to create a business and create an opportunity to help others and really show up at this highest version of ourselves, how do we do that? One of the big ways we do that is by tuning in to say, yeah, this feels right to me. It may not make sense. I don't know why I'm being pulled in this direction, but I have this intention of what I want to create, of how I can help people, of you know what I want my team to look like, and I'm being pulled in this one direction, and so I'm going to follow that. And that you know, could lead you down a path to different people, different opportunities, but it's, it's doing business from soul and from soul alignment. And mindset is a whole buzz thing right now, but this really is about more than mindset. This is really about your energy. It's about what you're showing up with. It's about the intentions that you hold and really what it is that you want to create And we've talked about getting clarity on what those things are, how to get clarity, some specific tools. And so today's episode, really, to kind of close it out and tie it in a bow, is about the three bodies that we carry, the physical body, the emotional, mental body, and the spiritual body. And I think that as we think about 
if our goal, if we like to show up as this highest version of ourselves, then we can do all of these other things. We can learn how to access our intuition and we can learn all these things. But in order to really make the biggest impact, I think we've got to look at the whole package. We have to look at all the things that contribute to our energy and to how we're showing up. And so if we take the first the first body, the physical body, what I really mean by that is it's really the physical body. It's very, um, you know, what are we doing to make sure that our physicality, that our, that we are, have energy and that we're, you know, because if we are sluggish or our mind's not right, then accessing all the other tools for getting clarity and grounding and accessing higher levels of intuition, well, it having your physical body in good shape will play into and maximize and create opportunities to be in a higher state. Um, so I think we really need to look at, you know, what are we feeding our bodies? Are we getting good nutrition? Are we eating regularly? And what are we eating? One of the challenges I'll share that I always struggle with is eating on the road because, you know, I run a very um, productive real estate team and business. And so often I'm just on the road a lot between appointments. Um, and I sometimes don't really make really good. Um, I don't plan ahead. And so again, but, and I notice that when I don't, I am not showing up as that highest expression of me. So, um, it really is from a practical standpoint, making sure that you're getting good nutrition, that you're getting good supplements, that um, if you need to consult with a nutritionist, a fitness trainer, you know, even things like acupuncture or chiropractic care. But, you know, if our goal is to be this high impact leader, then we have to look at and be a little bit selfish in, okay, what are the things that I need in order to be this high impact leader. And it does start with you. It starts with how you're taking care of yourself. And that's one thing, especially as moms or you know entrepreneurs, we're putting so much into our business and so much into all that we're doing. And sometimes we just forget all of our clients and we're taking care of them. And so we forget to take care of ourselves. And so this is your reminder that in order to be that high impact leader, Make sure that you're not um, neglecting your own health. And the other thing that I think plays into this is even just, are you getting enough water? I know I, I begin the day sometimes with too much coffee, but, or, you know, I love to indulge in some wine at night, but I do notice that if I get into a pattern of maybe having a little, you know, two glasses of wine at night or... Um, even just one glass of, of wine at night, I wake up the next morning and my mind's a little less clear. And so just being cognizant of what it is that you're putting into your body, that you're putting on your skin, that you're, um, that is contributing to your overall well-being and your physical health. And I know that not everybody has unlimited funds and budget and all of that, but I do think that it's important to prioritize our health uh, because if you don't have that, you're not going to have a business if you don't have your health, if you get sick. Um, hopefully, you've got a business that can sustain itself, but for many solopreneurs, if you are the business, then your health should be number one priority, right? So just a reminder that that really plays into it and in that way of being kind of your optimal version of yourself. And the second piece is really the emotional body or the mental body. And just as important as what we feed our bodies, I think it's equally important to look at what are we feeding our minds and the media, social media in particular. I you know, love a good scroll, will scroll on, you know, Instagram or what have you. But sometimes I watch myself because there's a, at least for me personally, uh, I can get caught in comparison. Oh, well, that person has this or, uh, 
you know, and, and think of less than of, you know, what I'm creating. So it's important to look at all that you're feeding yourself in, you know, physically, but really that emotional self, what are you doing to support yourself? Are, what is your self-talk? You know, what are you telling yourself? What stories have you made up about yourself? And are those true? And I read this study where it was talking about we have something like 10,000 thoughts a day, or and I may be butchering this slightly, um, but it was this crazy amount of thoughts. And the whole idea was that, is that 90% of those thoughts when they studied it in this particular study, 90% were negative. So can you imagine that? Can you imagine all day long basically beating yourself up? I mean, would you ever talk to a friend that way? No. So, you know, why do we talk to ourselves that way? And being a type A perfectionist as, as I am, I have to watch that for myself. And that's been a journey for me personally over many, many years. Um, and you may have something that either is similar or a different story. But I think that the one thing that is clear is that we do get negative messaging all day long. It's also how the media controls us in some ways, right? They Positive stories don't sell half as good as negative. So, you know, we're also not only do we have this negative self-talk that's going on all day long, but then we turn on the news, we look at social media, we look, and then maybe that negative self-talk gets even louder, or we hear things that are going on in the world, and of course, they're not going to really focus on the positive things, so we just are bombarded with this negative messaging. And so we have to look at, okay, if I'm going to get on social media, if I'm going to allow myself to listen to world events, I'm also going to cap it um, at a certain time, or what are the things that I'm going to do to kind of equalize or combat that, so to speak? How can I um, still be part of the world, but also not allow myself to go down into a negative cycle. And one thing I think for even for business owners that I find is that, you know, and I know personally from being in, in real estate, if I go to a business meeting and, you know, people are talking about interest rates or, you know, the, the real estate market, it's not like it was or, or what have you, um, those are all stories and they may be true for others, but I know from personal experience, uh, that they not, they're not they not necessarily always true for me because even in, uh, you know, a down market, I've always been able to grow and expand my business. And I think that's where we have to get to is to look at, okay, we may hear these people around us and they're, they're telling their own version of their story but that doesn't necessarily need to be true for me. And so that's where we protect our emotional, mental body. And so part of it is in, okay, let's look at what we're feeding ourselves and look at this negative component. But then what are the things that we can gift ourselves that are going to get ourselves into a positive state? I said at the very beginning, this is so much more than mindset, and it is. It's really about changing your energetic frequency. It's about rising to this highest level that you were made for in the world. And how do you do that? And you don't do it by going down to negative town. <laughs> I can tell you that much. So you do do it by getting into an energetic state of possibility, by gratitude, which we've talked about a lot on this show. Um, and there are some great previous episodes. Actually, I've got a great episode from a nutritionist. Um, it was Kylie Busett. She's, I think it's one of the first 10 episodes. Maybe it's episode six. She's a great one to listen to. And we've also got episodes on gratitude and how to get into that energetic state of gratitude and thankfulness. And there is so much research on how much more powerful and potent we can be when we're coming from a place of 
already being happy. It's actually the book by Sean Aker about the happiness advantage. And I've seen him speak. I love his TED talk. It's one of my favorites. And he talks about the idea and, and lots of different you know studies that he's done, but this whole idea that the people that often were chasing happiness and when that's the goal, oh, well, if I get this, I'll be happy, then those people are never satisfied because there's always another goalpost. So the idea is that how can I be happy? How can I be grateful for the journey? How can I can I be in more gratitude now for what I have? And the interesting thing about this study, these studies that he's done is that the people that have these gratitude practices and that actually practice being happy in the now on their way in the journey actually are so much more productive, lead um, more fulfilling lives, but not only that, you know, he's studied their careers and their businesses and they've expanded at higher levels because they're starting from a place in an energetic, uh, again, back to showing up and how are we showing up in the world? They're coming from this place of, um, of gratitude already. So, and, and coming from this place where they're already happy with what they have. So they are, um, more productive and more impactful. And really that's the whole goal, right? So, and then the last piece is the spiritual body. And I think that's some of the stuff that we've been talking about on the last few um, episodes and the last uh, pieces of this series are how are we really, how are we really aligning into this? um, I, I believe that we are a spiritual being having a human experience. And so how are we really aligning into all that we were meant to be? What are the practices and the things that are going to enhance that? And again, kind of help us create with more potency, help us create with more impact, help make a bigger difference in um, all that we're doing and we're creating. So the spiritual body, I think, to some degree, we've kind of gone through some of those practices and tips in the other episodes where we've talked about, you know, how to ground and what that means and how to access those higher levels of intuition, Um, meditative practices, uh, the idea of scripting, which um, is about really journaling and journaling what you want to create into being. And... Again, a lot of these tools that I've shared, the idea is that it really is to get you into an energetic state of, of highest potentiality. And I think that's kind of where we'll land. So, um, and that's where we'll end today. I think it's, you know, this was fun to be able to create this with you and, and do this series together. This is um, always been this podcast, a labor of love and something that I love doing and love sharing. So if you've listened along at all, and any of this information has been uh, helpful, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, you can either email me at Kara at KCD or, uh, you can, um, depending on where you're seeing this, you can write a comment. I'd love it if you share it, if it's been helpful. But um, I, you know, really, again, the intention of creating this podcast, this show was to help others look at this correlation between spirituality and business and how can they actually go together? Because they really do. If you think about if in a business, if you're creating the business, the business is an expression of you. And if you're creating it with your soul gifts and everything that you are meant to be, and you're creating it with the intention to make a difference in the lives of the people around you and your community, then, you know, really what could be more spiritual than that? And so um, I hope that some of this or all of it has resonated with you in some way and you can keep the pieces that feel like they fit and throw out what feels like it doesn't 
But my intention and hope is that there is something that you can take away and use and practice so that you can create with more intention, so that you can show up as just the highest version of who you were meant to be. And um, we'll see you next time. Sending you lots of love and thanks for listening. Loved being here with you today and would love to connect with you more over on Instagram. My handle is linked to the show notes, or you can just type in at Kara Chafin Donna Frio. And I have something special for you as a free gift, my dynamic life journal. This special book has the power to really help you live a soul inspired life. Go to free gift from Easy to remember free gift from Until next time, beautiful people sending all my love.